Let us pray. Father Almighty God, bless your holy name. We magnify your holy name, Father. And we come to you with a humble heart, asking you to hear this plea in Jesus' matchless mighty name. Father, we thank you for loving us as imperfect as we are. We thank you, Father, for your mercy, your grace, your love, your great love for your Holy Spirit and your word. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for everything, seen and unseen, known and unknown. We know you are doing a mighty work on the earth, and we just thank you for your presence in our lives and all that you do to bring us wisdom from above and understanding. We thank you, Jesus, for everything, everything you have done for us, for everything you continue to do, and all that you have yet to do hallelujah and and being that we are to come to you father with a clean heart we also ask for forgiveness for all our sins lord please forgive us for all that we have sinned for all our offenses we pray father that now and always you send your mighty angels holy angels warring angels to surround watch over protect and intervene for us with holy spirit fire as you deem it necessary Father, go before us and part the waters in every situation by the power of Jesus' blood and by your spirit in the mighty name above every name, Jesus Christ, we just pray, Lord. Father, we plead the precious blood of Christ over our bodies, over our families, our friends, our homes, our cars, our schools, our jobs. May we be a walking testimony for your will, plan and glory in Jesus name. Father, we thank you that you place your hedge of protection around each and every one of us, our homes, our cars, our schools, our jobs. Father, we thank you that we belong to you, purchased at a price. We just pray for our family and friends as well, Father. Even for those that don't know you, Lord, may they come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. We pray that you bless our marriages, our relationships, Father. Bless our children, guide them, Father. May we be the best person we can be to help our family, to help our, our siblings, our parents, our, our, our extended families, our friends, Father, our brothers and sisters in Christ, hallelujah. Father, we put on the armor you have given us, your whole armor, Father, which is impenetrable, unlike any armor ever made by human hands, your powerful armor, we put it on so that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil and we put on your armor piece by piece, Father. We put on your helmet of salvation, Father, to protect our mind and thoughts against the lies and tactics of the enemy. We stand firm on your promises and salvation, that by Jesus' stripes we are healed, by grace through faith we are saved, and we thank you, Father, that your great mercy endures forever. Father, we put on the breastplate of righteousness, knowing that our own righteousness is as filthy rags. We are so thankful that you have given us Jesus' righteousness to put on as our breastplate, which protects our hearts and lungs from the blows of the enemy, from the influence of the father of lies, which bring feelings of despair or fear or any other lie when we have not been given the spirit of fear, Father. But may we understand how to recognize those moments that are called for us to press into Jesus' righteousness and bind those lying spirits, uprooting them and casting them out in Jesus' name and not allowing them free rent or space inside these temples which belong to you, Abba Father. May we stand having on Jesus' righteousness, knowing the power we have through you, Lord, understanding we are not left alone as orphans, but with the righteousness of our Lord who is truth, we are set free and protected from the deceiving arrows of the enemy in Jesus' name, with Jesus' righteousness, hallelujah. Father, we thank you that you have given us the belt of truth and we have it on walking as children of the kingdom of God who know truth so that when deception pretends to take us away from the path you have put us on, we will not go 
for another we will not follow. May we always remember to study and rightly divide your word, standing firm, nothing wavering on your truth, which does sanctify, which is a seed, and you have promised it will bear fruit which glorifies you, Father. And we just thank you that you have given us eyes to see and ears to hear your truth away from the lies and confusion of the world and the enemy in Jesus name. Father, we just thank you so much that we have eyes and ears that see in the spirit and are able to recognize those false creatures, false teachers and wolves in sheep's clothing when they appear. Their lies will fall and will not take root in us as we have on your belt of truth. And we thank you for it, Father. We just thank you, Abba, Father, that we are no longer tossed to and fro, carried about by every wind of doctrine out there that deceivers plant cleverly, but they will fall because we stand firm, nothing wavering on what you, eternal Father, have given us. And we just thank you so very much for this belt of truth, which does hold all other armor in place. Praise you, Father, and we thank you for it. Father, we bind your shoes of the gospel of peace on our feet, walking valiantly in the power, truth and wisdom from above that you have given us as our portion, our bread of life, the living waters, our spiritual food. We walk knowing greater is he in us than he that is in the world, sharing your truth, which does sanctify and edify the hearer, guiding them toward the straight gate and narrow way that leads to life. We walk in these shoes you have blessed us with, Father, knowing that we are ambassadors for Christ and we are not our own. We represent the kingdom of God and may we always remember whose shoes we are wearing in peace and love and always standing on your truth, nothing wavering as children of light, not darkness with a Christ-like heart. May we remember that we are walking in the good news of the gospel, sharing freely what we have received about our father's business, not conforming to the ways of the world or being friends with the world, but serving the kingdom of God, representing the body of Christ in peace with love, but always in truth. We just thank you, Father, for the shoes that you have given us to wear, and we walk joyfully in them. Father, may we always remember to raise up your shield of faith as children of God given power, having the Holy Spirit of God in us. May we know we are never left as orphans, but greater is he in us than he that is in the world. May we remember to raise that shield no matter the storm. May we continue to believe, trust, and be faithful to the cross, to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, our savior, our redeemer, the one given all power who has all under his feet. Yes, that one who has the keys to death, hell, and the grave. May we remember that we have been given the authority to use his blessed, matchless, powerful name, knowing that whatsoever we bind shall be bound and whatsoever we loosen shall be loosened all in jesus name by the power of his precious blood and by his spirit that lives in us may we understand that we have the ultimate protection that we belong to the king of kings and lord of lords may we learn to stand on your truth walk in your power trust that no matter what nothing will separate us from your love and we just thank you abba father for all your love mercy grace and wisdom for loving us as imperfect as we are father we take the sword of the spirit which is your word and truth and we speak and agree with it in every aspect of our lives this sword your word which is more powerful than any two-edged sword and we thank you Father, for giving us everything we need for every battle we come across. May we remember to wield our sword against the lies and tactics and confusion of the enemy in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for all that you have left us. We thank you for this sharp sword. And we pray always for the wisdom and boldness in using it valiantly as you will it, Father, for your perfect plan and glory. Last, Father, we pray for this world that they come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, 
we pray that you open the windows of heaven and rain holy spirit fire to every space every crevice every millimeter of this earth father send a multitude of your angels to do your will may the hand of god work mightily for all your will and for your perfect glory and what the enemy intended for evil father flip it in jesus name and make it for good father bring leaders that fear you that will turn the hearts of all back to the word and truth of your holy Bible. And Lord, have mercy on us all in Jesus' name. We pray also, Father, for all the sick, all those mourning, all the lost. Father, let your light, love, and healing spread to every part of the world. Let them feel your presence and power, Father, in Jesus' name. Make all the crooked paths straight. Guide the hearts, Father. Send angels to do your will according to your will, plan, and glory. And may we all learn to pray as Jesus did, professing with our hearts, nevertheless, Lord, nevertheless, Father, not our will, but thine be done. In Jesus' name, by the power of his blood, and by your spirit. And we thank you, Father, for everything in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you all, my brothers and sisters in Christ.